had a tent camp in the beginning for two months in the outskirts of Amsterdam, where people were camping in the mud, in the rain, in bad tents, getting sick, without any assistance from the state, just from the neighbors and people like me being there to support them. So they had a hard time, they suffered, and then winter came and there was an empty church building that was facilitated by squatters in the neighborhood. And from there it took about 25 other buildings to uh, give shelter to We Are Here. Uh, we Are Here is a collective of uh, refugees from different countries, different nationalities. We focus on the people who have uh, uh, demand asylum in the Netherlands. Since 2002, there's a lot of uh, refugees have been kicked out on the street. Women's children have been detained. In Holland, it's a long tradition, especially in Amsterdam, to take empty buildings and use them as a space for living, for working, for culture, for anything. However, the, um, the state has managed to control the squatting movement by making it illegal. So it's hard to squat and stay inside, because opening a building is one thing, but staying inside for a longer time is something completely different. And in a way, you can say that we are here, the Refugee Collective, has saved squatting because it's easier for people to accept squats for refugees than for punks from England or tourists from Spain. So the squatters were quite eager to help find buildings for the refugees and for the police and for the justice and the politicians it was not so easy to evacuate a thing that raised a lot of compassion and solidarity and sympathy among the society in general. People have to move from place to place because we always be facing uh, eviction from building to other, you know. It's very important for the system to keep us, you know, busy with something. Because if they give you a chance to relax, then you will think on your situation, then you will create more demonstration and that disturbing the, the system. So that's why they have to keep you busy by building to building. We are here to get a life, better life than we are Normal having in Somalia. The life okay. is not too good and like in Canada. Uh, the, uh, the period we will stay here. But still we don't have anything, but we are waiting. Mm. We still have hope we will get something. The self-organized solidarity towards the refugees started uh, more or less two years ago that we had uh, the first Afghani refugees being stranded in uh, Athens. So what happened, we had a lot of uh, refugees residing in a nearby park in the Exarchia neighborhood. We tried somehow to help them out with water and stuff like that. Then we realized that there were around 300 people. Water wasn't enough. So we made the call to an, an assembly, hoping that it would be enough people to support them for another five days at least. And hundreds of people showed up from all around Athens. All together we tried to self-organize and uh, at the same time in a way, relearn what self-organization is. So for a month, we provided uh, medical care, clothing, uh, three meals a day, tents so they could sleep, uh, sleeping bags so that they could take with them on their journey. Uh, that was the beginning of the major self-organization uh, solidarity towards refugees. And from there, two more uh, initiatives uh, popped up. One was uh, Notara Squad, the first housing uh, squad for refugees. And uh, the other one was uh, Platanos, uh, self-organized camp, let's say, that was in Lesbos, that was in the front lines. When we was uh, in uh, Hughes Island, there were uh, a demonstration. We, we talk with them, we make uh, something like friendship with them. They told us when you go to Athens, we know a place that it's very good. So for the first time that we get in uh, Athens, we came to Plaza. I would say City Plaza is a refugee accommodation space, but not just this, it's also like a political project. More or less 400 people are living inside of City Plaza. You have so many different nationalities inside here and so many different people with so many different backgrounds and intentions. I know the history of uh, Plaza. It was a hotel for uh, Olympic in Athens. It was closed and nobody used it. So the anarchists, they unbanned it and uh, they repaired it. They helped a lot of people, a lot of refugees to come here and live uh, a little bit better than uh, the other uh, camps. As far as I know, we haven't 
lost not even one immigrant or refugee. No one has committed suicide or got killed in camps. You have all the time suicides, uh, desperate people, people that are dislocated from uh, the major uh, city centers. And in, in contrast to that, you have the squads that are in, inside the, the fabric of the city, and especially Exarchia, that will have uh, more than six squads, housing squads for refugees and immigrants. That you see the people in the squads that are actually not integrated, but they feel part of this small community. Thank you.